Now let's take a few minutes to look at evaluating information. While this section will focus on evaluating electronic information, particularly websites, keep in mind that the same criteria discussed here can be applied to any source of information, including print resources such as books and articles. By the end of the session, you'll know the basic criteria to consider when evaluating a website. You'll also know where to look on a website for clues regarding the quality of that website. And you'll also learn about several ways to contact library staff with research questions. A summary of the criteria that I'll discuss today is also linked from the Speech 101 Research Guide on the library's homepage. For even more detailed information about evaluating websites, I encourage you to view the Evaluating Information Extra Credit online class that's available via D2L. You can earn extra credit by attending in-person and or online classes. These sessions focus on specific resources or topics. Once you've attended the session, you can take a short quiz on the material covered, and if you get at least 60% correct on the quiz, you'll earn five extra credit points for Speech 101. Let's start by looking at the accuracy and reliability of a website or other resource. You need to consider whether or not the information presented on the site is true and accurate. Has the author documented resources that he or she cited? And is there enough detail provided for you to also find and look at the sources used? Can you verify the information presented by checking other sources? The next criterion to consider is authority. Does the author of the site have the knowledge and credentials needed to publish information on the topic? Consider whether or not the author of the site can be identified. Is it an individual or organization? If it's an individual, can you determine how his or her qualifications Things like education, training, or employment give the author adequate knowledge or background to publish on this topic. For organizations, what can you find about the group that proves their authority on the topic at hand? Also, pay attention to the website's URL. Sites ending in .org, .gov, or .edu tend to be more authoritative than those ending in .com or .net. The next two criteria Relevance and comprehensiveness are closely related and considered together. Consider the intended audience for the site. Is it for researchers or academics? The general public? What age group is the targeted audience? There is a lot of information on the internet for kids. Look for sites that are appropriate for college level work and that present information in enough detail to be of use. Next, consider the timeliness of the site. Is the information up to date? Can you find dates on the site to document when the information was created, updated, or edited? High quality websites will clearly post this information. Also, be cautious when using sites that have numerous broken links. If the site's creators have not maintained the site and its links, it may not be a very timely page. Consider using other sites or resources on the topic instead. The final criterion I'll discuss is objectivity, or how free the page is from being biased. Is the site attempting to sway your opinion? Does it present various opinions or viewpoints on a topic? Is the site selling a product or service? All are reasons to question a source's objectivity. Note that governmental and educational sites are more likely to be objective sources of information than .com or .org sites. So, where do you look on web pages to find the answers to the criteria I've discussed? Headers and footers will provide a lot of the information you need. What is the site's domain name? Is it a .com, .org, .gov, .edu, or other type of site? Can you find dates related to the information presented? Can you find information about the author, site sponsor, Use these clues to help you determine whether the site you found is appropriate for you to use. Remember that you can always ask library staff to help you determine the quality and appropriateness of a website or other information source. Our Ask Us pages 
are linked from the library's homepage. On it, you'll find our chat reference service, an email form you can use to ask questions, our telephone numbers, as well as our hours of availability. You're always welcome to come in person and ask us your questions as well. It's our job to help you and we are happy to provide assistance as you use our resources and search for information.